So, an artist has hit you up saying they want you to produce for them. They've heard your beats, they know they're fire, you know they bang. As a new music producer, you're not too sure on how to go about things, how to get the ball rolling, how to get things started. So in this video, I'm gonna share some tips. I'm gonna give you five things that you must do to make sure the project runs smooth. What's going on, it's KC, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. Hope you're doing good. I get a lot of DMs from artists and producers wanting to know certain things about music and all all that good stuff. A question was coming from an artist. Uh, they found a producer that they want to work with, but they wasn't too sure on how to get the ball rolling and making sure that the, the project runs smooth and that they don't get taken advantage of, which is a, a good question. So I thought, perfect, I can do a video on this. So I'll be talking from a producer's point of view, but as an artist, you can take some tips from it write some notes down and uh, yeah just follow this as, as a bit of guidance but first before we do that let me shout out my two new subscribers so shout out black dragon jr33 and zenny boy thank you both for hitting that subscribe button it means a lot it's much appreciated hopefully you hit the notification bell and we'll just see your shout out for today favorite comment for this week is coming from kyan tv no problem at all always happy to help yeah i appreciate your feedback lets me know that my videos are helping and reaching and yeah i appreciate i appreciate your comment Alright, I've got that out of the way. Let's dive into this video. So I'm just going to talk from my perspective and how I work with artists. Feel free to adapt them to how things will work for you. So the first thing I like to do is talk to the artists, get to know them, ask them to send me any previous music that they've done so I can get an idea of what they sound like. It takes me about 10-15 seconds just to hear, hear how talented they are as an artist. Once I've got past that point, then I like to ask the artist what's their goals. By asking them this, you can get an idea of how driven they are, how much they want their music to be heard. You can kind of gauge how important music is to them and whether or not they're trying to achieve their goals and how driven they are in achieving their goals. So for me, doing this, I can see whether or not the artist is on the same sort of vibe that I'm on. And more often than not, the artists are quite similar to how I am and how and my outlook on, on life and stuff. So that always works well because it just flows naturally. There's no falseness. No one's trying to force it. And it just all seems to flow naturally, which is a good thing, especially when you're creating music because <sighs> creating music is vulnerable. It leaves you in a vulnerable place. So being able to express your ideas and get your creativity out, your ideas done, you need to feel you need to be you need to feel comfortable in doing that. So once you've got that out of the way the first meeting and whatnot two you need to find out what they want from you do they want beats from you one beat two beat whole project mix and mastering by doing that you know what's expected from you you won't go out there and start doing more than what you're supposed to do and then it works out that you've been paid less for the work that you've created so this will lead on to tip three which is agreements and fees this section of the video is sponsored by DistroKid when I'd start talking about splits and how you can easily use teams in splits but we'll get to that in a minute. We don't want to call it a contract, let's call it an agreement because I feel like when you start, when you call it a contract it just feels a bit too, feel too, too heavy. Who wants to be tied into a contract? Let's just call it an agreement. So deciding what your agreement is, you can discuss fees. Once you know what is expected from you, is it a project, mix and master, and then you can start talking about your rates, sending them your rates. They can decide on what's best for them. If you're doing more than one, maybe like a whole project, you could offer a deal. That's in your, and how you do your business. Agree on splits, percentages, how much royalties is, are you gonna get? Is there more than one person, in, well, more than two people involved, producer, writer, artist. Going on to DistroKid, the cool thing about DistroKid is once you've got all your song complete, uh, you've done, decided on your royalties, everyone's been paid, you can, add people to your team in DistroKid, which is amazing because you can save unnecessary headache worrying about people getting their splits and who gets, who's supposed to be getting paid when and you having to give money out because you can add the artist to the team. So what you do is just add, put the email address in, DistroKid will kindly send them an email, they respond to the email, whatever percentage you put on there will be automatically done. So anytime you start to generate royalties from your sales, they get paid. I got one the other day from a an artist that I worked with he, yeah, about years ago. Got an email saying 
an artist has added you to their team can you confirm so i just went in there click confirm i've got a nice little link click confirm and then i was added to the team 50 percent royalties and that's work that i've done ages ago so that was that was a nice little surprise so splits once you decide on your splits easier done don't waste don't you don't have to waste too much time worrying about that just decide on what what is it everyone should get add them to the team job done move on by the way if you haven't signed up to DistroKid, use my discount code below get seven percent off for the first year deposits once you've agreed on the work that the artist needs get deposit 20 percent 50 percent i do this all the time this allows me to know that the artist is serious about getting their work finished so so don't feel bad in asking for a deposit because an artist would understand that's how you do your business especially if you've got it on your website and they can see it all written down exactly what they're getting exactly what to expect and how much deposit to pay then everyone's everyone's on the same page so that way there's no drama if it's not working out keep it moving and just put it down to experience tip four this has got to be an overall thing throughout the whole project that you're working on communication are you easy accessible how are you accessible do you have certain times that you don't answer your phone or you don't answer emails how are you accessible can they contact you by I've said that already do you prefer zoom calls email whatsapp insta dms whatever works for you just make it easy for the artist to contact you because especially if you're working remotely as well the artist is trusting you to do the work that they've asked for they're giving you their money so it's only right that you're available within reason when they contact you obviously if it's not working for you then just cut ties because some artists might get a bit too heavy for you to to deal with or they're taking up all your time unnecessarily but before you start working with them you can kind of gauge what type of artists you're dealing with do some research on the, on their uh, on their socials check their insta read through comments if you have to just to see how they deal with people so you, you kind of get an idea of how they're going to deal with you within your agreement you're going to come up with a deadline which i forgot to mention but this is kind of tied in with communication because if you've agreed on a deadline stick to the deadline but if you can't let them know in advance nothing worse than leaving the artist hanging waiting for you to deliver the work that you said you was gonna but you didn't obviously there's times when life's gonna get in the way you're unable to to complete the work but just if you just let, let them know that way they know where they stand and they don't have to start second guessing why you haven't been in touch with them and yeah just keep it just make it easy for them to work with you just be cool that's it's, it's that simple tip five do your best work i know it goes without saying but do your best work if you're if you're not feeling it don't just do it for the money <laughs> it sounds so cliche but don't i know you're probably thinking oh i haven't been paid for how long and this is the first gig in in ages let me just grab this one even though i don't like it i understand that sometimes you have to do that i, I get it but you, you've got to make sure you're doing your best work because this is your portfolio this is what other people are going to hear so when people come to you and say oh can i hear some of your work you're going to forward them to the work that you've done in the past and they're going to be like okay yeah i'm feeling that i want to work with this producer so the work that you're doing now is leading on to work that you're going to do in the future so do your best work treat it like it's your own like it's your own performance because that's, that's what i do especially when i mix and mastering and the artist is doing their thing i'm treating it like it's my song that's me performing so i'm trying to, i'm doing the best i'm making all my mixes the next level so that they're, they're better than the last and that's how that's how i try to that's how i do my mix and mastering and all, all my work and when you're doing your best work the artist is going to be happy with what they've paid you for and that will lead on to repeat clients if for some reason it's not working out don't be don't be afraid to just issue that refund there's a lot of artists out there that will want to work with you so don't feel bad if you lose an artist and a bonus tip for you so my bonus tip for you is know your worth the artist has come to you they've hit you up for your production or your mix and mastering services even if you haven't had a, a job in a while don't cut yourself short just because you you're, you want to get some money in make it fair because if it's not fair you're going to be doing the work and thinking i'm doing this for next to nothing what's the point and it's going to cut it's going to show for your work so make sure that it's fair for both i've done it in the past where i'm new to the game someone's hit me up for work i'm thinking i don't want to scare them off because if i say the price that i really want then they'll run off and i didn't want that so i've cut myself short 
done work that was decent but because I didn't get paid much this didn't leave a good feeling inside so don't make that mistake know your worth say your price without flinching that's some of the best advice I ever got and as well if you're thinking oh I don't know if I'm up to this there's a thing called imposter syndrome like I've had it a few times sometimes I listen back to my work and think damn did I really do that but no don't feel like that imposter syndrome is a thing I'm going to do a video on that believe in yourself know your worth believe in yourself you can do this you've got this take these tips and advice and create more fire once you find a decent artist to work with easy to get on with it's absolutely amazing especially when you're feeling the the, the, the project that you're working on it's just yeah it's an amazing feeling so those are my five things to to think about or you must do before during and after working with a music artist another important thing as well is aftercare like you've, you've done the, the work you've done the project are you going to help out afterwards are you helping with promotion i mean for me when i work with an artist and they we've done some good work i'm putting that out there i'm i'm letting people on insta hear it i'm letting people on hear it through my stories or on my wall so yeah just think about aftercare touch base check it check up on them see how they're getting on with their music even if they don't want to work with you on another project just keep that keep that that friendship open you never know what can happen in in the future so i hope them five tips have helped just to quickly recap get to know the artist what do they need from you agreements deposit definitely get your deposit four communication keep the lines of communication open fifth thing do your best work if you've got any questions hit me up on insta always happy to help probably do a video on it <laughs> if you like this video it's helped you tool brought any value hit the like button if you like these sort of videos hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime i put up a new video as per usual i appreciate your time Thank you.